With this car, the 1988 LS swapped Honda Accord, the thing that I've been looking forward to the most as a painter, some of you guys may not know, but that's actually what I do mainly is just paint all of this other stuff fabrication i know how to do it i can hold my own but painting is really where i feel like i shine now i don't want to be bragging on myself or anything but what i'm saying is this is what i've been looking forward to we are finally going to get some paint down on the 1988 ls swapped honda accord engine bay that is and also we are going to have to commit to which pearl i want to use gold purple or nothing and now you're watching the does a florida man wear a face mask at the first hurricane party of 2020 channel of youtube welcome to bodie vision hey so what's happening so the first thing that we want to do we want to get the cord moved over from the shop side we want to get it moved over to the paint side mask it off then just go for base coat after that base coat is laid down we're going to look at it a little bit closer i want to actually put the pearl panels on top of where the base coat is laid that way we can see a difference now when i made those spray out cards i should have did one card with no pearl a card with violet and then a card with gold so that way i can really get a good idea if the colors are changing with the pearl on it because as i'm looking at the cards i'm feeling like the beige or the sand color is looking a little bit different but after we get that base coat down then put those cards on top even though it won't have clear, we'll get a lot better idea of how it's going to look, and that's when we're going to commit. So here we go, getting ready to mix that base coat. Now, if you didn't see my last video where I was actually talking about the colors and all of the different things, this color code is actually 4V6 and it's from a Toyota Tacoma. So the base coat, that's already decided. Now, if you saw the last video, like I just said, one of the biggest questions was, what kind of pearl am I going to put on top of the base coat? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the base coat. This mix is at a two to one mix ratio. So two parts base, one part reducer. I'm gonna go ahead and get it sprayed down. Also give you a couple of tips and tricks of how I go about spraying an engine bay and then we'll determine what pearl we want to use. So the key to successfully painting an engine bay or the key that I have found throughout the years after painting many a bays, and this is the exact same for if you're doing the base coat or the clear coat. So one of the main things that I'm focusing on is I'm constantly making adjustments to my paint gun. So the three things that you can adjust on the paint gun are the fan size, that's the amount of area that paint's going to be going on, PSI or pressure, that's the amount of pressure that that paint is going to be propelled through the air, and then fluid, that's the amount of fluid coming out of the gun at full throttle. So as far as the amount of fluid coming out, I just leave that at wide open, but then I adjust the amount of pressure that I'm giving with my fingers, meaning I'm not going full throttle at all times. I'm kind of modulating a little bit of fluid out, full throttle if I'm doing somewhere like the firewall, but inside of a crease, I don't need to give it full throttle. So I'm leaving the fluid wide opened. Now the next thing that I want to focus on is my fan size. We don't need the fan to be wide open, meaning the amount of fluid doesn't need to have a foot of where it's landing from top to bottom if I'm about six inches away from my spraying area. You would run full fan if you're doing any exterior panels, but inside of an engine bay where all these corners are, I'm bringing that fan down to maybe 30%. So I'm going from about 12 inch spray area to maybe a three or four inch spray area. But now as you close that fan up, 
the pressure is going to go up. So you got to bring your pressure back down. So I'm not running full fan. I'm bringing it down to about 30 or 40 percent. So that way, as I'm spraying from about six inches away, I have maybe a four to five inch spraying area as opposed to a one foot spraying area. And then I'm bringing my pressure back down to about 14 psi. Now I'm using a Devilbus DV1. This gun runs really well at that pressure. Just adjust accordingly. If you're going to bring your fan down, bring your pressure down to whatever you would run it at if you are running it wide open. So that's what I focus on, adjusting my gun to make sure I'm getting paint where I want it and not in places where I don't need it. Because if you're getting paint everywhere, you're just going to have a bunch of overspray, dry spray, and that's the number one downfall to painting an engine bay. You got to make sure you're just putting paint where you want it. Alrighty, so now base coat is down and this looks really good. I mean, that looks really rough, really tough, rugged, phenomenal. I could not be more happy with just how the base coat looks. Now I'm kind of having some issues because I don't know if I want to commit to putting a pearl on top of it because I think this already looks good. So here's the spray outs that I actually did the other day. So gold, gold was the winner. Most people picked gold. And again, I was just asking for an opinion to see what you guys thought. Most people overwhelmingly picked gold and that looks good but my problem that looks pretty good but my problem with gold is I feel like it almost changes the entire dynamic of the color it almost brings it from a flat sand color a rugged color to a grandma champagne color and I just I want this car to be rough and tough I want it to look really good and have a little bit of flair to it so I think the gold it's just the problem is the pearl is too close to the base coat so i'm i'm not going to do the gold but the purple the violet this to me for some reason i don't know if it's hard to see on the camera but i was walking around with it kind of messing with it and it feels like to me that it darkens up the base coat underneath it and the violet seems to be it just seems to be out of place and this looks phenomenal so how i feel right now gold i don't really know i think it looks good it's a nice contrast with the red of the valve cover on the ls also the red of the subframe it's a nice contrast but i don't like what it does to the color the purple my biggest issue is again i feel like the base coat doesn't look like that sand color it just kind of looks like a darker color next to the sand and again i don't know how well it's picking up on camera so how the base coat looks right now i'm extremely happy with it both of the pearls i'm a little bit indifferent so I'm just gonna gun it how I did it. Sorry if you voted for one, sorry if you voted for the other. I know some people voted for just base coat, but after spraying it out, I think that's the way to go. I wanted to give this car a little bit of extra, but come on, does it need the extra? I think it'll be good. Now as I'm laying down my clear coat, the thing that I found to be most successful for me is I do one pass completely over everything, 100%. But then on the second pass, I come back around and I hit those areas again, but I wanna make sure I'm finishing on the main focus areas and then I get off it. So I wanna do the upper radiator support, the firewall, and then the shock towers and those tubs. I believe that's where your eyes are going to be drawn to the most. So I just finish off at the tubs and then I walk away that way there's no dry spray landing in them even though the clear coat might be open for a little bit longer i want to finish in those focus areas and get off it i worried about all those tiny little nooks and crannies on the first coat of clear the second coat of clear we want to really focus on making sure the areas that you're going to be seeing the most have a nice glass finish and i think i did just that Rage on that beat, going crazy.
and so that looks super good now one thing going on over here to give you guys an idea of where I'm at on the globe Elon Musk SpaceX the rocket is about to go off and if I look over here that's straight east and Cape Canaveral where they're launching from is probably 30 minutes down the road so we'll easily be able to see it if the clouds aren't in the way So the thing is, we can hear it. We're out here listening. We can hear it, but it's probably where that telephone pole is right there. I think it's somewhere in there that we would have saw it. But, oh well, win some, you lose some. It was actually supposed to go off the other day, and then the launch was canceled because of the storm, and yeah, it's all good. There will be another one. Anyways, back to work. So I'm just getting the clutch, flywheel, everything situated. Then I'm gonna get the transmission thrown on there, and then we have the subframe right here the red one i think it'd be really cool if within this video we can get the subframe up there so that way we can start to see some of the really cool contrast that this bay is gonna have i'm hyped So motor, trans, everything's set. It's looking really good. I also threw the expansion tank on there just so we can see some pieces coming back because every single piece that you add on just makes the bay itself look so much better. It might look a little bit overwhelming just after you paint it because everything is the same color, but again, every single piece that you add onto it makes it look that much better. So speaking of pieces, one thing that's gonna contribute to the entire look is going to be the subframe. So the paint is not at all cured, but I'm not gonna have to mess with it. We'll just throw the subframe up and then see how that looks. That looks so good. I could not be more excited with that. Now the Pearl, at the beginning of the day, I was actually kind of questioning whether, well not at the beginning of the day, but when I decided not to do Pearl, I was thinking I wanted to do a little bit extra. But dude, you tell me, I think that looks phenomenal. The Pearls, I don't know that they would have added anything to it. The contrast, the red, the beige, and then some of the black components. And once the motor goes in with the red valve covers that are exactly the same, that's gonna do that much more to this. And let me know how you feel in the comment section down below. Are you mad that I didn't choose the pearl that you had suggested? If you're mad, I'm sorry, but I had to do what I thought well was best, and I do not regret it whatsoever. I think the purple, I think the purple would have been a bit much. The purple next to everything just doesn't look that good. And then again, the gold. I know a lot of you guys had suggested gold, but I didn't want it to become like a champagne color, like I was saying. So this flat desert sand now it's not flat because it doesn't have a clear coat it's just a non-metallic color looks phenomenal subframe looking phenomenal motors put together trans is on the motor is ready to drop in and that'll be in the next video or a video very soon so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think also check out the merch and i guess that's it i'll see you on the next one i'm out